Hello, hello students and welcome to your new Chromebooks. We hope you're excited to get them back or get them for the first time. And this year we're going to do something a little bit different with the rollout. We are going to give you a couple of important items of information uh, to help make sure that you get the most out of your Chromebook this year because they're really important and we want you to take good care of them and kind of know uh, some tips and some tricks and what we expect of you. So a couple of things before we get started. Um, first one, this is very basic, so some of you probably already know this, but in case you've never had a Chromebook before, Chromebooks work a little bit differently than normal computers. So the computer you probably have at home, it probably has a hard drive in it that stores things on the computer, files and photos and games. It's all stored on the computer itself in the hard drive. Chromebooks are a little bit different. They are special because all of the things that they have stored on them are actually stored in your email account. So your email is actually connected to your Google account, which includes not just your mail, but things like Google Drive and Docs and all sorts of other programs that we're going to be talking about. And you can access them from anywhere you want. Any computer with an internet connection will let you into your files and your email, which is really special. So you don't always have to have the same computer with you. And if you go home and you have a home computer, you can access it from that. So we wanted to show you a little bit about how to do that. The way you log on is through your email account. So when you go home, to your, if you're logging on on a home computer or a home laptop, you would open up the internet browser and you would either find Google and you would uh, click on the little Gmail icon there, or you can just type in gmail.com to the browser, and you can go ahead and uh, op open up and sign in to your account using your Gmail. And remember, your email account is first name, period, last name, at hmstudents.org. Okay, and you can use that to log on anywhere there's an internet, com an internet connection um, in order to get to your files, which is pretty... Cool. Now, that's the basics for getting into your computer, and your teachers are going to help you get in, of course. There's a couple of things that we want you to know about. You can call them rules, maybe, but we just want to make sure that you are aware of these things because um, we want to make sure that your computers stay in the best shape possible and that you aren't without them on the days that you need them. So we have a couple of quick little policies or reminders. The first one is don't take them out of your case. Now, last year, a lot of students thought that the case was optional. The case is not optional this year, and all of your teachers know this, too, that you have to keep them in your case at all times or you may lose them. So don't forget your case at home. Don't take them out of the case for any reason. Keep them in the case because the case will protect them, and a lot of people that have had Chromebooks, especially students from last year, know that they're not very durable if they fall off a desk and hit the hard, hard floor. We don't want them to break or get cracked. So we have to take them away and repair them, and you might end up getting charged. So make sure you keep them in your case at all times. Rule number two, don't leave them out in the hallway. Um, every once in a while, like before mass or an activity, sometimes students leave them and they don't bother putting them in their locker. If your computer gets picked up and taken, that's really bad, and we don't want anybody to get a hold of your computer except for you. So make sure that you either put them in your locker and keep them locked up, or you drop them off in your next class if they're not with you, okay? So if you're going to lunch and you don't want to take your computer with you, that's fine. Just make sure that you leave them in the locker. Uh, rule number three. Now these are school computers. They are being loaned to you, and for all intents and purposes, they are your Chromebooks, but they are school property, and we want to make sure that you're only using them for purposes that are school appropriate. Now what does that mean? Well, you're going to get a technology... Um, a technology uh, appropriate use survey uh, that we're going to ask you to s sign that'll tell you all about what we think is appropriate and not appropriate for school computers. But here are some pretty simple rules. If you're doing something, ask yourself these two questions. Number one, would your teacher approve of it? So if you're playing a game, games by, himself, by themselves are probably not inappropriate. However, if you're playing a game while your teacher is trying to teach, or you're playing a game your teacher told you is not allowed, that would be inappropriate and you don't want to do that. Another question you should ask yourself. If you're using your computer for something that would shock your grandmother, you probably shouldn't do it. So if you use those two rules, you'll probably be fine this year. Rule number four is a pretty simple one. Just make sure that you charge them every day before you come to school. There aren't a lot of outlets here and there are a lot of you. So if you don't want your battery to die in the middle of the day and you don't want to have to run up to the old 
tech lounge in order the tech lab to charge them then you want to make sure you charge them while you sleep that's a really important rule and then rule number five don't leave them on forever Chromebooks just like you need rest they need to sleep they should be restarted at least once a week some people we have come up to the tech lab their computers don't work very well they get twitchy they get fuzzy and the reason why is because they aren't shut down sometimes for months if you can believe that so don't let that happen to you. Those are pretty simple rules. If you have any questions at any time uh, about your computer, if you need help fixing something, if your computer isn't acting the way it should, if you don't know how to do something or need some help figuring out a program that you're not used to using, or if something's happened and your computer needs repairs, come on up to the tech office. We're in room 128 just across from the LMC. Really easy to find us and we're always there. So if you ever need us, come on up. We would love to help you. And that is really all we have to say about Chromebooks in this basic overview. Thanks.